The viewers want to know is how much the room is, yeah, 20, which is 25,000, yeah. how big the room is, which is 80 square meters, mm -hmm. and they want to know if you have a boyfriend or not. <laughs> All right, guys, with much deliberation, I've made the choice to fully embrace the lifestyle of becoming a hippie here in Chiang Mai. Matcha, I've gave up meat and became a vegan. I've recently joined a uh, commune here in Chiang Mai, so far out, guys. I'm going to become a, a hippie, a vegan hippie. Just kidding. I will never ever do that. F hippies. But in all seriousness, forget the hippies. I've actually taken some con consideration about wanting to move here to Chiang Mai. It's been, you, Chiang Mai is amazing. If you guys spent some time over here, the housing here is much more affordable than it is over in Bangkok. The food is cheap. There's barely any traffic. It's a complete opposite from Bangkok. Chiang Mai could be a nice place to live for a couple months except for smoky season. So in this video, we're gonna do a Chiang Mai condo tour, see what kind of properties that we can find here in December of 2021. I've enlisted the help of Nietzsche. Hi guys. Yeah, my name is Nietzsche from Perfect Home actually. Yeah, I'm agent, so yeah. And, and how, long have you been, how long have you been a real estate agent for Nietzsche? Uh, for a year now. For a year? Now, yeah. Nietzsche's gonna be showing us around a couple yes. condos and we're just gonna have an amazing time and see what we can find. Can you find us some really cheap, cheap stuff? I think so, yeah. It depends. <laughs> depends on where. Okay. Right now we're in uh, Niman Hemin, so you guys might know. Like, Niman Hemin is really um, uh, popular yeah. area. Of course, there's a lot of people, foreigners, they would like to live here because it's easy. You don't have a car, you don't have to buy a car, you don't have to have a bike, so you just by walk distance, it's really easy to get around, like coffee shop around, like really nice food. Uh, breakfast foods are uh, really cheap foods as well and then like bar and cup and it's around here <laughs> so to caveat what she just said niman is you know it's a, it's a it's a very trendy place good living a lot of co-working spaces uh also another thing that i forgot to bring up is that chiang mai is a huge digital nomad hub <laughs> yeah, yeah. well that's before covid but i think all the digital nomads have already left they'll probably be back what digital digital nomads some are real some not real really, yes yeah. yes we'll we'll talk more about these digital nomads later but first let's go check out some coffee or not coffee con condos, <laughs> condos. <laughs> okay we'll, we'll check out coffee later let's go check out some condos yeah. <laughs> let's, go. let's go this is the most un unprofessional not so serious <laughs> condo video that i've ever filmed What's this unit called? Panna. Panna. <laughs> Panna second. Panna second. Because they have Panna first uh -huh. and then Panna second. So this so is called Panna song. Song Okay, Okay, Okay. Okay. Oh no, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, so Nietzsche is going to be doing some condo prep. So we won't go in just yet. So uh, during the meantime, let me tell you guys a little something, okay? after uh, spending some time here in Thailand. When, uh, when somebody tells you that they are a digital nomad and you try to inquire, oh, you know, what do you do? I mean, what's your, what's your business? You, I'm assuming you do an online business. How are you a digital nomad? And uh, when somebody gives you a very inconspicuous answer that you still have no idea what they do, just assume that they're a drug dealer. Whoa. Yeah. My goodness. I, yeah, it's really my favorite room here. Yeah, it's my favorite room now. <laughs> really? Whoa. Yeah, so you got really big kitchens and then, yeah, really big kitchen area and then the dining table. This kitchen is huge. You got your fridge, washing machine. Wow, this is probably the biggest kitchen I've ever seen in Thailand so far, which is pretty sad. Most kitchens around Bangkok especially in around the condos, if you're staying for a single person, they're usually pretty small. But, you know, if you come to, if you're looking at condo properties, let's say in Chiang Mai or in Pattaya, generally, for the most part, the units are going to be much cheaper and the kitchens are way bigger than in Bangkok. Why am I living in Bangkok? It doesn't make any sense. I complain so much about the kitchen and then, you know, I'll come here and be like, I'm paying the same price for half or for a quarter of the size of the apartment. It, don't, it doesn't make sense. Chai. Chai. <laughs> <laughs> so far in 
and so far again in the chance bin. <laughs> wow, yeah. this is a Wow. I didn't know Chiang Mai had spots like this. This is oh my. More crazy than this, but it's all rent out. This, this oh wow, this yeah, is. Yeah, this one is just become a viral. My clients just go back to the U.S. Yeah. And then this is about one year ago. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
right here I'm standing for is like a garden area so you can see and then the pool right here here they have a sauna as well and then the gym so you want to see let's go see <laughs> yes ma'am <laughs> so here's the pool so the pool right here yeah the pool right here okay so it's like um um hotel it's like my hotel I think so yeah it does kind of look like a hotel wow Nice. There you go, guys. You got your cardio machines, your fitness workouts. But we have to go to the building A because it's so weird. So we so we went to the wrong building. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Nietzsche, you're, you're so you you, Nietzsche, you're so silly. <laughs> I just want to show you around first before I show you room. <laughs> I, I swear to God, dude, Chiang Mai condos have way more space than Bangkok condos. Why the hell am I even living in Bangkok? There's so much... Uh, anyways, shut the f*** up, Forrest. You come into this unit, bam, you got a washer over here. Bam, you got a refrigerator here. Look at all this kitchen space. Way more, more kitchen space than my 31 square meter condo. Look at this dining table over here. Romantic dinner with yourself. Nietzsche sitting right across the table from you. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. And then, then you you come over here. You got your TV. You got little cubbies over here. Your aircon. And look at the living room space over here. Yeah. This totally destroys my condo back in Bangkok. <laughs> you know, really good. Get a couple of chairs, couple of drinks. Bring a invite a few friends over for a party. Very nice. Yeah, and this one is close too. Can you close? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> nice knowing you. So, oh, this is heavy. Oh, oh, no strength. Somebody needs to go to the gym. Okay. Anyways, we're going to be separated from Nietzsche for a little bit. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's, let's get down to business. You got your bedroom over here. Well, it's okay. I kind of wish it was a little bit higher, but, yeah. you know, some, some guys, some people might prefer this style of the, uh, the bedroom over here. Mm -hmm. Another aircon over here. You got your closet space. And then let's walk through here. And bang. You got your bathroom. Yeah, it's two exits too. Two exits? Mm -hmm. Yeah, two, two entrances and exits. Yeah. You got a very modern marble shower. Big. Sink. Big mirror. <laughs> and the mirror right here. Hello. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, bal the balcony is not bad. It's not as big as the first place that we were at. Yeah, yeah. Over at, uh, is that Ni Puna? Puna? Yeah. Right. In Puna, across the street. That's where we're across, yeah. we're from the first unit. Mm -hmm. But look at, but at least when you wake up early in the morning, you kind of have like a nice mountain view over there. Mm -hmm. Not bad. So what's really good about this unit over in, uh, this unit's called Niman. Nimana. Nimana. So there's Nimana. So it's like Niman, but with an A at the end. So there's Nimana, and then there's Puna across the street. Is that, uh, whether you decide to choose either one or one or the other unit, at least, uh, you're very close by with a lot of amenities, a lot of restaurants, a lot of, uh, there's a grocery store further down that way. And, uh, yeah, there's a Mugada place that, uh, Nietzsche mentioned. So you're wondering how much this uh, Chai Kao. Okay. Chai Kao. So this one is um, in listing in the website is 16 or is, um, 15, 15,000. So I mean like it's negotiable as well. So it can be rough. It depends on how long you're going to stay. Okay. So, so so let's say, and is it the same rule? Three months, six months? Can yeah, I, can I yeah, do one month? Okay. Yeah, yeah, cannot do one month. But yeah, I cannot do one month. Can I do one month? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What if, what if I want to do one year? How 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 much can I get it down to? It's it's depend on the agent. Okay. <laughs> it's depend on the owner. Okay. <laughs> Nietzsche, one year, ten thousand. Oh my hand. <laughs> really Chai hard. can. Yeah, yeah. So it's depend on like um how good for the 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 owner want to do like down the price so it's depend on the owner mostly yeah mostly the owner mm, mostly the owner yeah. okay mm -hmm. uh this room is pretty much this style so if you go to another room it's like this style but 
it depends on the owner re renovation as well, like a uh, decoration as well. Yeah. And this um, the room is come with all the kind of furniture and all the kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds and good. this 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 room is a uh, forty five square meters, so it's really okay for one person. Like, you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's good, 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 good space. I guess like it's not more and not less. You know. So just to recap, we're here in the Niemana, very resorty type of place. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of the Atlantis in Pattaya. Uh, forty five square meters, fifteen thousand. Hopefully 10,000. And Nietzsche, 10, 10, please. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay, 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 okay. Pri okay, price is negotiable. Yeah. So, but, you know, like I said, man, some of these Chiang Mai condos, a lot of space. Yeah, yeah. I, listen, I bitch so much about Bangkok. I don't know, man. I want to live there, but I kind of need more space. Whatever. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. All right, so me and Nietzsche are here at our third and final condominium here in Chiang Mai of this lovely Chiang Mai condo tour. Yas. Anyways, so uh, we're here at this place, this condominium, and it's definitely more of a, it's, if you guys are looking more towards a budget, more on the inexpensive side, check out Chom Doi Condominium. It's got this like big triangle thing. Don't expect luxury, but if, that is not a priority if you just want some very, very simple living. You know, it's, this is definitely a, a good spot. It's better than living in East Los Angeles where everything's all broken apart. Anyways, enough about bashing about California. Let's, uh, let's do this uh, quick condo tour. So we go in and we got a lovely Nisha right in front of us. And then uh, we got the fridge, just a very simple fridge microwave and um you know slightly renovated if you guys like the whole homely farm farmer uh type of uh, decor there we go for the aesthetics you've got a nice uh tabletop you can put it like a hot plate over here or an air fryer basic sink and then you go through and yeah this is like your uh your basic shower uh there's no partition obviously you just got the shower with the toilet, both open spaces. And you got the sink over here. Yay. And then you go through and then you got your cabinets. No need to hide, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> and then you got the uh, the bed over here. I'm everywhere. <laughs> Nisha, you're, every, you're always in the frame. Nisha's always in the frame. You got your, uh, just a basic table that you wanna do your laptop and do all your work. It's got a nice sofa in front of me. It's a basic TV, aircon, and you got a lovely view. You got a lovely view over here. Those look like nice, decent uh, opposing con condominiums. Mm -hmm. We got a lovely mountaintop for a good uh, morning view. What do you think? Uh, you know, if you know, if I just graduate from university, maybe I might want to consider living here. You uh -huh, know? Uh -huh. But I, what I really want to know is how big? How big? Um, thirty-two square meters. Okay, so the same yeah. size as my condo in Bangkok. Yeah. Okay, and uh, how much? How much? Everybody wants um, to know. Five, five thousand. Oh, sorry, sorry, seven thousand five hundred. Seven thousand five hundred. Yeah, for for years, probably yeah. Seven thousand five hundred. How much is that in U.S.? I don't know. That's like a, a little over twenty one hundred. Uh, huh? two hundred ten dollars. Two hundred ten dollars. What do you What do you think? Okay. So it's thirty. Two hundred fifty dollars. Oh I used to pay like I used to pay like one thousand six hundred US. Two hundred fifty dollars. God dang! Yeah. <laughs> wow. So imagine this: you're only paying two hundred fifty US dollars. Yeah. For this space. Oh, that's cheap. Super cheap. Mm -hmm. If you guys were on a crazy budget, <laughs> or like really really tight budget, mm -hmm. don't live in Bangkok. <laughs> live here. So me and me and Nisha are at this uh, pool over here. Uh, you know, it's it's not exactly a, a luxury pool, but you know, it's a pool, right? Yeah. <laughs> One thing I really want to talk to you guys about is that uh, you know, the price that we that Nisha just showed us was uh, seven thousand five hundred baht, mm -hmm, yeah. which is around two hundred fifty U.S. dollars. Mm -hmm. You can actually negotiate and find even cheaper than that. Cheaper room. So you can get can can you get down to maybe four thousand five hundred? 
<laughs> or is that too too low? Too, too low. Too low. Okay, maybe five, how about five thousand. Bad clients. Bad clients. No, <laughs> no frugal clients. Smart, smart clients. I'm here to I'm here I'm here to save you guys some money. All right. Okay. But it depends on the owner. That's what I tell you. Yeah. Depends on the owner. Yeah. So, I think realistically, maybe we can you can do maybe five thousand baht, which is roughly around one hundred fifty U.S. dollars. Mm -hmm. That's pretty damn cheap if yeah. you're paying $150 for rent mm -hmm. at a place mm -hmm. even though it's not as luxurious mm -hmm. it uh you know you go, you're gonna have that extra cash and you can invest <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> don't spend all your money on girls alcohol invest <laughs> 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 you know, we're we're trying to plan out how to how we're gonna close this video and Nicho was like can you promote my Instagram too? <laughs> you probably did that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fine. We can. We can promote. We can promote your Instagram too. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right. So. All right. All right. We'll be serious. All right, folks. That's pretty much it. We saw three units mm -hmm. here in Chiang Mai. More of a budget accommodation. More of a more, two mid-level accommodations. It's a really good place. If you're if you don't care about the whole luxury feel and you just want something very more down to earth, simple, you know, just slow life, not too many people, less traffic. Mm -hmm. Chiang Mai is a good, a really good option. Because uh, yeah, I'm actually thinking about maybe leaving the hell out of Bangkok and moving to Chiang Mai. Like I've told you like 20 billion times already. But most importantly, I just want to thank Nietzsche yeah. for uh, for showing us all these properties and everywhere. You're welcome. Where can uh, where can people find you? So of course, um, Perfect Home. <laughs> so I work as Perfect Home as an agent. So I can give you a phone number and then the email. So if you wanna, if you guys that not live here and would like to come here, so if you have any questions about Chiang Mai or the property, just uh, add me on the line or on the um, or maybe IG Instagram. <laughs> where can they find you on IG? <laughs> here i think you can put here i'll no? put it i'll put it in the description down below description down below please okay. yeah I, yeah and if you are considering if you live in chiang mai already and would like to find a, a new place a new place a new condo or you are the owner if you want a listing with perfect home so you can contact me as a perfect home or go can go to the perfect home website or call on the office as well awesome <laughs> so i'm going to add all of nisha's links in the description down below mm -hmm especially her IG. Yes. I'm going to show her Instagram out <laughs> so she can get more followers. You're welcome. <laughs> but, but, but most, most importantly, thank you for watching. It's been a really fun video. Yeah. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Love you. Peace. Bye. Bye, -bye.